Hi, my name's Rob. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Today I'm going to show you how to winterize your motorhome. So first step on this here, um, 22 Bay Star. We're going to come underneath here. We would dump our filter housing out. And then I usually hold this up there, turn it on just to make sure there's no water in the system. If there is, I dump that out and put my canister back on. Make sure my low point drains are drained. And then close them back off. Then I come over to this compartment here. This has a winterized hose already built into these. All you got to do is take the cap off. That'll go right down in the jug of antifreeze. And then we have a couple valves up here. We want to shut off the valve that comes from the uh, freshwater tank and open up our winterized hose right here so the pump will pick it up. So after dumping your filter housing and all that, you want to come over here to your water heater. This particular unit has a Truma water heater on it. It is a tanked version, so you want to drain your pressure, open it up, and then you'll pull your screen out. Set it off to the side and close this up. And then we'll go to the inside and bypass it, which the water heater bypass valves are down here. So you want to make sure and turn it to the bypass mode. If your unit is equipped with a circulation line, you want to turn that off as well. Otherwise, it will pump the antifreeze right back into the tank and out the hole. So now we're ready to start pumping our antifreeze. So we can turn our water pump on. And I usually do the cold side first. Once I get the pink coming through, then I go to the hot side. Once I get the pink coming through this side, I always go a little longer to make sure I got plenty in my P-trap. Next thing I want to do is flush my toilet and get my antifreeze through the toilet valve. So now we're going to move on to the shower. And again, we want to go hot and cold. I usually do the cold side first. Once I get good Good setup of pink coming out. And I switch over to the hot side. Then we move to the kitchen sink. This particular RV has a uh, ice maker built in to the residential refrigerator. The key to this is you have to have the refrigerator to temperature uh, before it'll attempt to make any ice. So it's gonna take it a little while. If you're gonna do it, always try to remember to have that on 24 hours prior to trying to winterize your RV. In this case, mine's not quite the temperature yet, so it's gonna take some time. I'm just gonna to have to be patient and let it set here. So always remember, you wanna dump your uh, fresh water tank, low point drains, drain your water heater, and bypass it. And then you want to uh, make sure you take any filters out because the filters will take out any uh, color in your antifreeze. So you won't know whenever you're getting your antifreeze up unless you taste it or smell it. Um, and then make sure you get plenty of antifreeze through the system and in your P-traps. Other than that, enjoy your camper.